Welcome back to the agency. This is Detective Chase Clay continuing the Blair Witch case. Now saddle in because we have a lot of recap to cover because a lot happened. Not in terms of depth, but in terms of breadth. Like just a lot of events happen. Whew. So we left off back at the campsite that we initially found our magical time warping, space and time walking, warping camcorder in. But before that, before that, here's what happened. So, we explored through more of the forest, obviously this whole investigation. Well, not this case investigation, but in the actual game, the whole investigation is for this Peter Shannon kid, right? This kid that supposedly went missing and we're trying to find him. And for some reason, Ellis has some weird connection to him. We found more of the, the tapes. And through that, we found more footage of Peter and his abductor, who we still haven't got a good look at his face yet. We just get a sound of his voice and a bit of his hands. Peter tried to leave some clues behind him, including uh, dropping uh, his baseball, perhaps someone to find, but the abductor unfortunately caught on and took the ball, stopping that from happening. But thanks to our magical space and time warping camcorder we were able to retrieve the ball back and have bullet get sent on it so we could uh further continue our our path and try to eventually find where this where this kid's gone missing in doing so we 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 encountered our first tree monster um i didn't get a perfect as you can see on the board i didn't get a perfect picture of it because those things are so blindingly fast but the best thing i got is just this weird shaped creature that is very horrifying and they do not like the light apparently they are they are they have some kind of vulnerability to the light good thing we have a torch and hopefully the battery doesn't die out but it is what it is um and then after that we got access to this bridge, the bridge was broken, we went back to the white tree where we, on the walkie talkie, Lanning was saying he's next to the same tree and Ellis was next to the same tree, yet they couldn't see each other. Upon this frustration, Lanning started getting a bit frustrated, annoyed, and he started saying like, um, uh, I, knew I, sh I knew you shouldn't have come here, Ellis. This was a mistake. You know, why Why was he held? Why was uh, uh, Lanning allowing this to happen? And he, he also mentioned, said to Ellis, I, I know, God, I can't remember what exactly it was, but he was saying, I, I know you have a responsibility for this. Like, Ellis is here to right a wrong or to correct a mistake he may have made in his past. But regardless of that little snippet of information, Ellis got angry at Lanning and he, then he was saying like, Oh, I don't need you. I can find this kid by myself. Cut off the walkie-talkie. Heated, heated argument happened there. That that ended. Found some more tree, tree monsters to evade. And there weren't just one this time, because previously there was only one. Now there were two. So here was me thinking, wait, is that the Blair Witch, this, this, this tree monster thing? But I haven't watched the original movies. This is all I have to go off on it. But there was multiple of them, unless it's multiple witches, or the Blair Witch is like the head of all, all these creatures, but whatever they are for now, I'm just going to call them tree monsters because that's all I have to identify them. We went back to the... We then went back to the rusted... Remember that rusted vehicle that had... That was just destroyed and was taken off by Mother Nature? And as if it, would, as if it was left there for... God knows how long. That had been completely fixed. It was Lanning's car and it looked completely fine and pristine. There was a note on the window saying, Channel 3, say the light. We did so and some other voice said, turn on the light. And so, I don't know who that other voice was. I know that channel 1 was the search party on the walkie talkie, channel 2 was Lanning, and channel 3 is this weird, this voice that I have no idea who it is. It's, it sounded a tiny, tiny bit like Ellis, I know it's weird to say, 
but ju just the way the pronunciation of the words. I know the walkie-talkie grumbles the signal a bit, but just just the pronunciation of some words. It, it could be nothing, but you know, it's it's all just thoughts until they become a reality or get proven right. So we went into the car. Before I turned on the headlights, because there was a whole puzzle you had to do for it, I turned on the radio and there were these presenters talking, all normally. And then they mentioned Ellis's name and their voice got incredibly distorted, like they were talking straight to Ellis. And they were, and they mentioned the winner of the prize. Ellis's phone rang and he was the winner of the prize. And the prize was... Remember that bunker lock? It was the code to that, or the, the, the pattern to arrange the pins to unlock it. Inside that bunker, because I quickly went there to check out what was there. Inside that bunker was a radio that was saying that Peter Shannon, after three days, I think, had been found. I'm not sure if this was a side quest, if this was a bonus mission, if this was a secret, I don't know. But it's so strange because you'd think that this whole expedition being to find Peter Shannon, Ellis would have said something. Nothing was said, nothing was commented. And, you know, maybe it could have been an hallucination or whatever, but Ellis could have at least commented on that, like, wait, what? You know? S some kind of confusion or reaction, but there was nothing, so... I don't know what that was about, I don't know if it was a, a glitch, or maybe it was a part of it, or... Who knows, all this may just be inside Ellis's head. I have no idea, but I thought there should have been some kind of reaction to it, but... It is what is it? it is. At least the bunker mystery is solved now, it's unlocked, so we don't have to uh, worry about that again. Went back to the vehicle, done the little puzzle where you had to just switch around some... It wasn't a puzzle, you just had to switch around some fuses. And we turn on the lights. As soon as we turned on the headlights, just... It flicked to daytime, as if we had flipped a night switch. A light switch. And not only did it change from nighttime to daytime instantly, the location where we were as well, once we got out the car, was completely different. Yeah, I know. Thing, thing, things, things are getting weird, like really weird. We moved on, had a bit of a conversation with Jess, a bit of friendly banter, maybe a, a rekindling of the spark they once had, not sure yet, that's just starting. And then we came across a bunch of brambles and you may already notice on the board someone's crossed out but we came across a bunch of brambles and bushes uh in those brambles and bushes was indeed sheriff emmett lanning who had been a massive gash wound on his neck skin had been skinned his face teeth had been plucked out it was a nasty sight to see I wanted to leave Lanning the way we remembered him, which was this cool guy with a cool hat, not how he was when he looked deceased as a corpse, but we saw a tape, and in that tape was, you'll see on the top left, the person who I've named Killer, some dude with branches and leaves on him. No idea what, why he's dressed in that, but... And Ellis noted that Lanning would have never got jumped on. The only time he would have got defeated was if someone around him was who he trusted who then backstabbed him not sure why Lanning's trusting some forest looking dude with uh, sticks and leaves on him but that question I guess will be unanswered unless we manage to find this killer guy or Lanning comes back to life and this is all just a hallucination in Ellis's head and so we're uh, walking further down I've got my notes here uh there was a weird, it was, I think it was Ellis's PTSD, if it is his PTSD, or health problems kicking in. But we heard the sounds of dogs barking, people chasing us, helicopters whirring, and we ran. The one second I turned around, there was this big red light in the sky, which, <laughs> I don't know what any of this means, but we ran into a cave to evade it. Bullet disappeared, and there was some woman talking into our ear who sounded... I'm saying she, shout, she sounded like Jess, because Jess is the only uh, lady that we know here as of yet, so that's the only reference I have. And, I mean, if there's anyone else that gets revealed, fair enough, but that, that's all I have for now. It could be some other person, it, it, maybe it's the Blair Witch herself, I, 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 I don't know. But, walking through the cave, Vision eventually blacked out, and we had a... 
I don't know if I should call it a flashback or a hallucination. I think hallucination maybe would be... We, we, we had some kind of cutscene. And it was revealed that Peter Shannon's brother's name was called Adam Shannon. And... It was like, it was a kid outside a shop. And the kid was going to reach for something. And then Ellis did something. And... He said... He said, uh, for all, I, for all I know, I could have crippled him for the rest of his life. And he said, uh, he wanted to visit him. He, he wanted to, but he couldn't. I don't know if that was visit him or what. I, I'm, I, I know I sound like really confused and mumbled, but this was the information that was given to me, which itself was confusing and mumbly. And then... That that cutscene went away, and another cutscene happened where there was military bodies falling from the sky and a helicopter whirring in the air, which could tie to the helicopter sounds we've been hearing. Who knows? And Ellis was holding a gun in his hand. Cut to black. We awaken in the campsite that we, again, we had originally found that camcorder in. So, that is the end of that big, that big thing. We're going to jump straight back into it. I really... Except for the information that we've been given, you know, like Adam is Peter's brother, there's a connection between Ellis and Adam, which meant that Ellis may be trying to wrong, right that wrong in trying to help Peter, who is Adam's brother. All sorts of connections and lines pointing everywhere, but there's, there's nothing, like, concrete where I'm like, oh, okay, so that explains it. All I have is names and some lightly connected events. And Ellis just... I don't know what Ellis did, but apparently Ellis did something, so... We're back here. Good thing it's not exactly night time yet, because I feel so much safer in the day. Easy, boy. Easy. What's that noise? Is that this, or is... I don't know what these are, like... I, I don't understand. I don't understand. Like, easy boy, no need to be scared. Clearly, Bullet doesn't like these. I don't know what they are. Is there any point? Because look, it destroys it automatically. Man, it's like it acted on its own. It, Marius. It. Destroyed it automatically, so is there a point of me waiting? Shall I just destroy them? Like, I don't like know. Someone left it here for us. But whatever it is, Bullet doesn't like it, so we'll get it's rid him. of it. The killer. Buried something nearby. Let's find it, buddy. Emmett's killer. Arning's killer. Can we get a better look at this guy? He's always turned away from us. Look, why would Lanning trust a guy like that? Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, but he looks incredibly creepy. I, I, I don't understand. I really don't understand. He looks incredibly creepy. Oh Good boy. Lanning just would never trust someone. Oh, sorry. Lanning would never let someone jump on him, but somehow if he trusted this dude. And he got the jump on him. Looks the same, but older. A lot older. Oh, this doesn't make any sense. There is definitely some time warping things Each going one is on. More twisted than the last. That that is for sure. We keep on picking up these wooden car, uh, figurines. I don't know what that means. And what's this? Fear of forgetting critters by Todd McKinnon. Theodore McKinnon. My father was a lumberjack. When I was a child, he would often take me to the sawmill in the Black Hills Forest to tell me stories of the monsters and witches who lived there. Sounds like a great place to take your kid if there's stories of that. I returned to that place almost after almost 40 years. It looked exactly how I remembered, except for its haunting emptiness. No one was telling stories, the stories of fearsome critters anymore. There was not a single soul to pass the legends on. The logging company disbanded and the old sawmill was left to rot. But I could not simply let it be forgotten. Not before it revealed it, its secrets to me. Not before I learned what drove my father to take his own life. Yeah, because there was um, the owner of 
that sawmill or, or whatever that place was that there was a death that there, there was a missing I'm not sure if it was a death or it was a, a, a missing case, but there was something uh, wrong What's it was this another picture oh dog Unhappy dude. It, all right, is the dog bullet first of all unhappy dude and That looks like a tree monster Is that me in the middle? I can't even turn this around. Well, the, the dog's got red eyes, as if someone's seeing the dog as an enemy or something scary. Well, it's not scary. Look at him. He's a cutie. I, yeah, I, I don't know about, I don't know. All right, we have three ways to go. Uh, in the camcorder, there was some kind of stone that we could go to. So let's check that out. Oh, I don't want to. Okay, 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 okay. This looks ridiculously open. I need, I, I need to find a place that's closed. But how the hell do I know? Because all of this is. I mean, look, even this goes up here. All right, so here's the stone. Maybe we. Maybe we. Maybe. Yeah, let, let's see. Let's see. This is a clue, so whatever it is. Burial. Open. Burial. Burying who? Right, first of all. Can I grab the shovel? There's no shovel here? We found a, we found the shovel near Emmett's body. Oh, is that gonna be a sniff? All right, hold on. Okay, if that if that's a part of the story, I'm gonna get so lost. But if that's a part of the story, maybe we can look around for. Bullet. Come with me, bullet. Maybe we can look around for some place that's not a part of the story. And hopefully, I don't get lost through all of this. I'm assuming if you just went straight for the story itself and nothing else, then you'd probably be able to get pretty far pretty quickly. But I, th it, it seems worth it to walk around. And also, if I have to search this place in the night time, I'd rather not. While I have daylight, I, I definitely would, would rather explore this place. Even if it's a mild daylight, I would rather explore it then. Dog tag? What is? No, no, that's impossible. Palmer. Yeah, yeah. Let's move on. Alan T. Palmer. I don't know where. I don't know what I'm doing. Where I'm going. Hello. What's this? Looks ancient. Come on, boy. Let's leave it alone. It's a burial. That's a grave. It's gotta be right. Can't we just... I know it sounds incredibly horrible and morbid, but can't we just dig up... Wait. Wait. Wait! What the... We're back at the... There is no way. There is no way. Is the campsite... The campsite is nah. No, no, no. No, no, no. There is no way. There is no way. Hold on. What? Wait, no, that, no, that kind of makes sense. Kind of. All right, so we've been to the left. So what happens if we go straight out here? Seems like not the best idea. Jeez, that is. Okay, I, I may have. 
just happened to coincidentally go in a perfect circle, but that was weird. And is this where the car was? <laughs> this, this forest really is confusing as hell. Okay. Yeah, was it just a perfect circle or did they sneakily teleport us while we were walking just to go in a, in a similar path direction? That is so trippy. Okay, okay. So if we went left, how about we go straight? But we... Mm, I, don't, I don't know if I want to do that, actually. Maybe... Maybe it is just worth just carrying on with the quest. Because it seems like it's taking us the right way. So... That was... That was very weird. That was very strange. This looks like the place. What'd you find? But we was over there, and we somehow managed to wrap all the way back here. I don't know how that makes sense. What's this? Tappy East Creek Timber Company. Is... I've seen this logo before. It's where landing was going. It's worth a shot. Maybe we'll finally get some answers. Is that where the the dude's father disappeared or passed away? Come here, boy. That last that we saw earlier. A good long whiff bullet. It's important. Atta boy. That's it. Take me to it. We're going back this way. What? Won't we just wrap back around? I'm just gonna go with it. I, I trust Bullet more than I trust myself because I I have no inkling of where to go. Like I, I know there's there's so the candle is a landmark we can save, but except for that, just a bunch of trees and grass. Do we already go this way though? Sand. Oh what? Hello? Channel two. Hello. Emmett. One. Anybody there? Elijah Five, come in. Huh? What? Who is this? Soldier. <sighs> Elijah Five. We are not Elijah, unless that's a, there, a nickname. Another dog tag. Another one. Ashley M. Elwood. Is this another collectible, like the pictures? Or is collecting all these a part of a bigger story? Oh, that's a highway. That looks like... Elijah 5, this is Monarch. Do you copy? Wait, hold on, hold on. This is... No, you're not real. What languages? Is this like... Iraq or something? Or Afghanistan? What is it boy? Something wrong? I forgot the name of the language, it's on the tip of my... phone. Why does... Okay, so dogs are known to have a sixth sense, right? What the hell are these things? Oh, that's fire. Oh, that's not nice. Oh, no. Oh, everything's on fire. What is that? I'm gonna carry on walking. Great, so we got leaf, leaf monsters. Tree monsters and leaf monsters. The whole forest is going mad. I'm just gonna follow bullet. And now we're being guided by some radio as if... I don't wanna even look back. I just wanna, okay, I'll look back, all right. I don't know, I don't want to look back while I'm being chased. I'd rather just run ahead and try to get away. 
was Ellis a part of some war or something? This has got to be PTSD. There's no way this is just happening. But then again, I have seen tree monsters and someone has whacked a shovel inside our sheriff's throat. Wait. Bullet chill for a second. This is not out of the ordinary. Alright, come on then. Let's carry on. Oh, whoa, no, 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 no. Look, it, it's like, it's sandbags. Whatever. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. But th these bullets, I mean, the forex is on fire for some reason, but like, there's bullet impact. It's not just sounds of bullets. There's, there's, there's actual impacts in front of my eyes. Either this forest is just getting really weird or Ellis is health problems. Oh, not you again. Get away. I thought, I thought that was a dog. Are we alright, bullet? What the hell are you things? I, I thought, I thought a dog attacked me because I heard, I think I heard bullet bark and then I got hit. So that was really weird. Alright, well there's, the tree monsters are chasing me again. There's now leaf monsters in the ground. There's, there's bullets being thrown away everywhere. Not not our bullet, dog bullet, but ballistic bullets. There's buildings decrepit and broken and... Come here. Where's bullet? I can't see. Right, where are we going bullet? Oh, over there. There's, there's, there's broken buildings and everything. There's... Everything's messed up. The forest is on fire, there's bombs going off. Oh, are we approaching an actual place now? And, and in, in the flashback that we had, there was that... Oh, bullet. Oh, no. Oh, we really are in some place now. In, in, in the flashback that I was talking about with the hospital and uh, the, the military soldiers falling, there was a... Uh, there's that recurring theme of that woman that woman's eyes I, I, again Jess is the only woman that we have for reference but that but I don't know if that's Jess I'd, uh, oh man oh, where are we oh man I don't think searching for anything is gonna yield any results who knows, maybe there might be something I can find. <laughs> can I just pick up a gun and start slaying? But then again, a, a man with health problems such as Ellis, if this is PTSD, may not want to pick up a weapon, because that may trigger some chromatic events. Are they chanting kill? Who's this? Are they saying kill or are they saying help? I can barely see what's happening. Through the doors maybe? Nope. Back outside. Were well, these dead bodies always here? Oh my movement's starting to slow. And he is shaking. Tremors. Ah. Bullet. Bullet. 
<laughs> Things would have been different if you... All this would never... I would never... Things would have been different if you what? Okay. I would never... Is he talking to Bully or is he talking to someone else? Also, do I have to like... Can I just not stay here for, you know... The rest of time and just hold Bully in this moment? Mate, I don't think nothing else happens. Or does something... Why is that so suspicious? Sure. We go. We gotta keep moving. As much as it would be nice to stay in this moment forever, we gotta keep moving. Let's give Bullet a. Uh... I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Good boy. Good boy. You sure, Alice? Let's give Bullet a treat. Heal. I'm not sure if the colour of the colour affects it, but it's, I'm happy I chose a lighter, brighter colour because it's easier to identify Bullet among all of this brush and bramble, honestly. Because if I had chosen something like... wasn't there like a brown colour or something? It would have got blended into Bullet's fur, which already blends in with the leaves a whole bunch in the first place. Also... See, look, it's blocked off. Like, where did we come from? Uh, and the bullets are back. All right, well, let's just Bullet. keep walking. Wait, hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Did those bullets occur when I was looking here? Nope, it wasn't. Just nothing. It's like, we are teleporting from place to place. When we got in Lanning's car and got out of it, I turned on the lights, we were somewhere else. We went through this entire... Halluc hallucination sequence and now we're somewhere else and the path behind us is blocked as if how we would have how would we have got there in the first place I'd, are we having hallucinations but still walking around in the real world or are the hallucinations and movement in our hallucinations completely psychological Fuck. all right well one thing for sure we need to find another way. is the leaf monsters are still here now, was this the place we were traversing, or is this just another place with leaf monsters? Whatever it do be. Oh. We gotta get the hell out of here. Wait. Is that a railroad track? Let's see where it leads. Camp A. Oh boy. Oh buddy boy. Can it please stay daytime? Alright, we need to go to the- I know we need to go to the sawmill, because that's where Lanning was headed, but we'll jump along- Heal! Will it? Come on, boy. We'll, we'll jump along to Camp A to see what that is. Bullet! <laughs> Hello? You okay? We got cell service. Any voicemails? We should definitely call Jess. You have one new message. What is Sierra, it? Hotel Echo Inferno Slaughter. I got rid of I got rid of my my note, but. Hold on. I, I got I got rid of my note, but I, I want to note that down again. What was it? Sierra Hotel. You have one new message. Sierra Hotel Echo Inferno Slaughter. S H E I S H E I E. Shice there. Shice here. I still don't... Well, a bullet seems to be more lively, so... Oh, what about Jess? We'll, we'll walk and talk. Hello. Let's carry on. Doing these... I mean, hey, bullet's great, but... Hang yourself. What's up? Uh, you know, just... Talking is nice. Up, uh, checking up on, on you, I mean. Um, 
how are you? Smooth. Wow, that was smooth. You're a regular Don Juan. <laughs> oh, hey, I see you run around a dark, muddy forest for a while. It doesn't really help with your romancing skills. True. Speaking of which, any progress? <sighs> Jess, I... Well, there's something really messed up going on in these woods. Okay. If you're trying to scare me, it's working. Sorry, you know, I can't explain it now. Someone I really watching. I don't know where to start. Just listen. If anything happens, I want you to know. Hey, stop it, Ellis. Whatever it is you want to tell me, you can do it once you get back, okay? I am. Oh, yeah, you're right. Ellis, I don't know what you've gotten yourself into, but you can always leave. Just get out of there. No one will think any less of you for it, least of all me. I can't. At least not yet. Sorry, Jess. I, I, I gotta go. Talk to you soon. You better. Yeah, because Alice feels like he has a responsibility. Uh... Another voice message. What is it? One second, bullet. Yeah, yeah. What is it? Where is he? What did you do to him? It's all because of you. I, I can't even it. move. I always knew you. That wasn't. That wasn't what Jess sounds like. That was someone else. Okay, so we have another chick in the story. Maybe Peter's mother. That's a f box. What is that? Okay, it's a light. Cool. Rail card. Why am I wandering off? I don't know. I'm wandering off for some reason. Why? Why am I doing this? Why? Okay, <laughs> you know, one of the few times I'm happy there's an invisible wall is probably right now because it means that I can't stray too far from where I'm supposed to go. I don't want to stray too far, but my curiosity gets the better of me. You know what they say about curiosity in cats? Oh no, wait, can we jump on this? Come here. Wait, right, hold on, let's see if Bullet can find anything Bullet, first. Seek. If he can't, then... Boy, boy, let's jump on this cart and go. Also, it's night time. You got nothing? That's fine. It's night time though, and I don't like that. Bullet, up. Well, I, I guess through this we can just go to the sawmill straight off, can't we? Direction lever, power switch, forward, backward. Uh, brake lever. Direction lever, power switch, forward, backward, brake lever. So brake off, power on. It's dark. No, power on. There we go. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, can we just ram anyone who gets in our way? Full steam ahead. I love it. I don't love that though. That's too dark. This is nice. For some reason, my mind was thinking, you know, the 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 very old rail carts, like the uh, the the pump ones, the the like the seesaw ones. You have to stand on both sides, and two people have to pump on either side. I was thinking it was like that for some weird reason. Camp A, sawmill, camp B. Well, we're at the sawmill. All right. Well, turn this off. Save some energy. Come on, buddy. I don't want it to happen that um this thing runs out of power somehow. Although I'm not sure how it's it, is it fueled by a connection. It can't be a connection to the rails. It's got to be yeah. There's a power box there, so it's got to have its own internal thing.
What's this? Oh, is this a track a track switcher? All right, wicked. So that means, all right, that means we're going this way. This is blocked. Oh, this, we're not even at the sawmill. Okay. What does this mean, though? Some generator. There's a log blocking our way connected to this machine. Out here. Stop giving up permits in the sixties. <laughs> this is ancient. It looks like some kind of a winch. Gotta be a way to turn it on. Well, I assume it's through here. A winch. So this will pull the rope in, which will pull that and pull the log out the way, right? Maybe something in the cabin here? Another picture. This again. That name keeps on coming back again and again and again and again, Arcadius. Alright, bullet. Okay. Wicked. What's this? The machine. Alright, here we go. Now, uh, it's pretty basic. Is this the father that, that went missing? Okay. Donkey. Bless ya. Awesome tutorial, dude. He would do well if he posted these on YouTube. Easy. W was he was he hobbling because he's old or like is he okay? All right, so door should be open. Just want to check back here. Door should be open. All Maybe right. Looks promising. Maybe there's some spare parts left. We are here at the steam donkey. We came from up here. Going left. Sawmill straight ahead. But going left as I turn the switch track goes to the maintenance shed. And it goes to steam donkey B. Camp B. Parts, deliveries every Monday. Orders to Robert Fe Fien Fienis? 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 Whatever. Whistle, safety valve, pressure control valve, firebox. Whistle, safety valve, pressure gauge. Okay, so turn the valve from going to red. Guidry, we just got a new delivery. Come to the maintenance shed to pick up the parts you wanted, Robert. So we need to go to the maintenance shed is definitely a point of operation. Can I just, this is gonna sound very stupid because it is. But can I just lock myself in here? I want to see how the door reacts. Oh, that is weird. Is it exactly the same? Okay, there's, there's a bit of time mismatch. Look, because the door opens before the guy pulls it. Look, the door's open. The guy hasn't even touched it yet. Bit of a mismatch, but that's okay. That That's still incredible, though. Imagine if they had done it, like, to the perfect pixel, like, the, as the guy's opening the door a little, then a lot, the door here reflects that. That would be incredible. Locked. I don't, I don't think it's locked, but... Okay. Right, start the f fire. Ah. It's a valve, but the hand is missing. Oh, it steams as good. Pressure's not gonna build up. So we need the steam whistle. We need to patch it up somehow. Come on, buddy. We need the steam whistle, we need the valve. Can I just rewind back to a time where it was fixed, maybe? Little Uh the pressure should be in the green, he said. There we go. Okay, hold on. What, that, that, that's a bit... 
that, that's a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? Why is it that... Why is it that the parts can't go back? This is very selective in how... How it works. That, let's close this. It's still on. But he closed it. You know, I'm not going to question it. It's probably all part of uh, puzzle things. <laughs> let's carry on. Let's carry on the way we were going. I feel really sad to have to leave this place because it's nice and bright here. And the rest Come is on. just complete darkness. All right, you're on. Let's get her gone. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. And now hold on a second. Imagine if I just jumped off this while it was... Oh wait, you can't. <laughs> I was gonna say... Oh, I don't wanna go back. I don't wanna go back. I don't wanna go back. Wait, 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 wait. Getting off, buddy. Imagine if I just left it going. Right, that should be alright. Imagine if I just left it going and then the car just ran away, never to return. Yeah. Too heavy to push aside. I know, I just wanted to interact and see what was there. Oh, bullet. Be careful. Come on, buddy. Get on, boy. No, 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 no. Forward, forward, forward. Okay. Oh, this is. Oh! You little. Ugh. Uh, I don't like that. Don't like, buddy. Should be safer this way. Should I? Oh. Uh, oh. I wanna. I wanna keep it on because I I feel safe when there's a light there. But I don't know. I don't know if the energy will drain. Oh boy. What the hell is that over there? Alright, bullet, come on. Let's go, bullet. Oh man. Let's hope it's still standing. Come on. No, don't you dare. Go on, bullet, show me where to go. Just go away and I won't shine a light on your head. Is that so difficult? Oh, oh, oh. Going, going to the light, going to the light, going to the light, going to the light. Come on, bullet. Oi, boy. Please just stay on. Please, lights, just stay on. I don't know if I want to go into the forest anymore. I think I just want to stay on track at this point. How the hell did they get here? Oliver S. Marley. I don't know who these people are. Must have been his um, his unit or something, right? Okay. 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 Enough with the crackling. Sir Sergius. Sergius. What have we got? Oh, hello. What's this? Tappy East Creek, Creek Timber Co. Maintenance shed inventory as of June 26, 53. Pressure gauge is 2. Grinding wheel 6. Drive belt, brass valve, canvas firehouse. We need... No, we don't need a pressure gauge. Robert, make a order for more valves. Yes. Cam B took their took the last one for their steam donkey, and now we're out of spares. So we gotta go to Camp B to collect the the valve. We are here. We gotta go down to B's donkey. Looks like we won't be getting in through here. Luckily we found another way to get through though. There's always another way if you look hard enough. Also, can these lights like stay on? I'd really appreciate. Hello? I'd really appreciate that. Wait, what? Oh. Wait, I thought there was already a gauge on the thing. 
Come on, Ellis. You're not that big. You can totally fit through there if you prone. One down, one to go. All right, fantastic. Oh, my. Oh, Bullet. Bullet, you're a goal. Oh, no. Bullet was the Blair Witch all this time. That is so weird and satisfying. He even reflects his reflection. Anyways. Come here, boy. Moving on. There's nothing else here, right? Okay, great. Man, I don't- I don't- th these lights- the lighting looks terrible. You know what? I don't know why I think I'm brave if I- Oh! oh okay. Alright, enough, 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 enough. Get back on, get back on. Get back on the donkey. I mean, get back on the car. That's not a steam donkey. Lights. Camera's action. Yeah, I don't know why I think it's a brave thing to run around in the forest. Sometimes brave doesn't equal smart. It surely... Sure, it is brave to... run around in the forest. But it's not brave at the same time because, you know, there's monsters there. Also... Okay, hold on. Come on, buddy. We can't go here. Can we give this a twist? Ah! No, 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 no. Where are you looking? Bullet. Why, why, why? Oh! Oh! Excuse me. I'm pointing a flashlight at you. Get away. Bullet is a bit confused. I'm gonna let him go. I gotta trust my own senses. Get away. Ellis, carry a gun. Please. Just just carry carry a buckshot or something. A pistol? Shoot these things. Problem solved. Right, what are we doing? We can't... Okay, well that's fantastic. So we can't... We can't take the cart through here. We've got to walk it, which is a nightmare. Oh. How are the lights even still on? How is this place getting power aside from these generators? Great. Great, great, great. Great, 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 great. Why is there the sound of crackling? The fires are gone. Alright, come on. Easy. Easy. Uh, the fuse boxes are shot. Do I need to get a different... What is that? A, a fuse? A capacitor? I'm not good with the uh, electronics. Or ele electrical... Electrical engineering? Is that the word? Alright, we're splitting off into two tracks. Bullet. Come on, bullet. We gotta go, man. We gotta carry on. What's this? Psychological report. Ill eligible. Ill eligible. Ill eligible. No. Illegible. 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 Not ill eligible. Illegible. There we go. Background summary and re is summary. <laughs> I can't read. And reasons for referral. Patient brought in by parents due to extreme panic attacks, insomnia, and sleepwalking after a traumatic experience. I advise three therapeutic sessions per week. During a preliminary interview, I was able to determine the following. The patient actively avoids recalling the event. He experiences vivid nightmares since the event, possible coping mechanism. He exhibits emotional numbness, irrational aggression, and dissociation to the event. Overall, he is very nervous, possible undiagnosed anxiety neurosis. So we don't know who the patient is because it's illegible. Not illegible. Illegible. Patient brought in by parents. 
And there's a picture of a deer, a dog, a deer, a dog, an animal, bleeding from its from its chest. Okay, well, parents. So maybe. Oh, I forgot. Uh, Peter or Adam, Shannon. I, one of the two, maybe. Oh, let's carry on. Let's carry on. Not liking this. Well, another figurine. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is way more defined and it's wrapped in vines as well. A speaker? No, it's always oh, just a light, never mind. Alright. Let's start walking a bit. Bullet, my boy, I'm gonna pet you. Yeah, good dog. And then I'm gonna ask you to stay real, real, real close. Because this is a very jumbly place. Heal. Stay close, boy. This place is horrible. Well, it's really well trained, though. Not sure if it was his previous owners or if it was Lanning or Ellis, but whoever trained him, trained him very well. A lovable dog that is responsible and listens. And playful. What's this? Is this a tripwire? Oh, dust wire. I don't know why I feel like it's getting darker. I don't know how that's even possible when it's already night time. I assume we're jumping up here. Come on, bite. Right, we can go up there, but I just want to quickly check out... I just want to quickly check out what's here. If anything at all... Ah, damn it. Alright, that was a bad idea. Alright, well, at least we know that everything's covered, so... Onwards and forwards. I was thinking that, that that looks like a little bump there. I'm not entirely sure if I wanted to go there, but... We did. Come on, Ellis. Uh... Here... Yeah. You know... This music in the background, I wonder how much more creepier games like this would be if there was absolutely no music at all. Because I know that music adds ambience and it can add tension and emotion to whatever's happening, but I also know that it's kind of comforting at the same time because it's not just eerie silence. So I genuinely do wonder well, how, would it, how would it feel if the music was off? I mean... I, I can turn the music off, but I'm not going to because I feel like it's gonna just make it miles worse. But here this we are. One is barely holding up. Let's see if there's anything to salvage. Right, we need a whistle, and we need a. This valve. should do it. We need a whistle. Another picture. This again. Jack. Yeah, at this point, Ellis don't even know what's... He's not even commenting anymore, he's just like, yeah, okay, another picture. Because what else can you say? Just pictures of these people with their backs turned and their names on it. Sometimes on the front, sometimes on the back, sometimes neatly written. Sometimes scrawled and almost illegible. What's this? God. Another dog tag. I'm so sorry. Heath be forced. This has got to be, this has got to be, like, Ellis's unit or something. Because why would he say I'm sorry? Unless he's just giving, expressing his condolences. When I took the camera from that old fool, it was full of senseless chatter. But I saw it. I saw the things it can really do. Through it, I can look into the darkness and see the creatures that lurk there without being seen. Through it, I can see the things that escape my eyes. And through it, I can gaze back into the things I have done. It won't let me forget. When I took the camera from that old fool... Is this the son talking about his lumberjack dad? 
or is this someone talk because the the abductor of peter also had the camera is it peter talking or is it someone else that took the camera from him the abductor through it i can look into the darkness and see creatures that lurk without being seen i can see the things that escape my eyes i can gaze back into the things i have done that's the time travel stuff and it won't let me forget what does it won't it won't let you forget the things you have done but if you can go back to the things you have done, doesn't that mean that you can just erase them from happening in the first place? Although that's not how this camcorder works, because apparently we can only interact with certain inanimate objects, but... I don't know the extent of the, 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 the powers here. See if Bullet can find anything. Nothing. Nothing, eh? I feel like I'm missing something here. Or is this literally it? Oil. That would sell for a bit. Not like anyone else is using it here, huh? I think we can go now though. I think I would be very I would be very happy to leave this place. Oh, excuse me. What the Hello? Just jump over the log. Hey, bullets there. Okay, well. I guess athletics is not Ellis's forte. I'm just losing everything right now. I mean, it could be... It could be worse. I could have no torch. I could be walking around. I could be walking around in the complete silence and blindness. It could be worse. We've got to look at the silver linings. Yeah, no. I'm not going. Thank you. I think we've gotten all we... We've gotten all we can. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Keep on walking, keep on going forward. Why does the music sound like it's coming to a crescendo? La 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 la. Okay. Let's turn this. Because maybe there's something else ahead. See what's there. Bullet, get back on here, my boy. We'll reverse on, out. Hello? Oh. Oh, break, break, break. We'll reverse out. Then we'll forward in. And just, just for a second. Just for a second. All right, just, just checking, just checking. There's no, there's no invisible monster that's actually just Spooking on us right now. Just stalking us. Just checking. Ah, oh, the light. I don't even know what that sign said. Can we just, like, leave? Light. Okay. This is good. This is good. Oh, I really don't like the sound of... Wait, 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 wait. Do I have amnesia or is... Or... Good enough, buddy. Didn't... 
Then we go to camp B. Ah. Sure, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm not complaining. We're back to where we need to be and I'm happy. Oh, it wasn't a whistle. The whistle's there. That's the gauge. Alrighty. Okay, alright. Well, let's get going. Ah, oh, this is really easy. Just gotta turn this. I just gotta keep in the green. Easy. I just wobble this around a bit until it's done. What if I keep it near 100? Will that make it work faster? A bit dangerous. Can I... Is that it? Fantastic. And the road's clear. Whew. Hop Wicked. on, buddy. Back on track. Now let's find that bastard. Find who? Well, the abductor, yeah, but... I'm just checking why this door closed. Run into any trouble. Just checking there's nothing new in here. No, alright, well... Let's press forth. Goodbye, Steam Donkeys. I really like your name. That's a cool name, Steam Donkey. But we have got to get to somewhere and find this bastard, whoever whoever this bastard is. Oh, uh, I just noticed the time. Okay, yeah. Never mind. I yeah. Okay. I I think this is a good thing. I checked. I th oh. Oh, thank you. Sylvester Sea Boys. Was that always there or am I just not aware? Rhyme. I think we'll leave it there though. We're nice and safe in the light. How about I just sit in this cabin? I feel safe here. My own little my own little home with buddy. But I guess in the next one we will see who this person is apparently, because pet you a handsome boy. Come here, boy. Wait, come here. I want to pet you. <laughs> give you, give you pets. But yeah, we'll, we'll maybe we'll see who this person is. Maybe I don't know. I don't know how. I didn't see how long this game is, so I have, I have no idea how how what the the length of this entire video game investigation will be. But I'm sure we'll get to the end eventually. In the meantime, though, that will be the end of this episode. We'll pick it back up tomorrow, and yeah, you guys take care, and I will see you then.